Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to Nascar Game 2013 Challenges, Challenges, Highlights, Highlights, Challenges, whatever it's called, part number four. Today, we got Phoenix Challenges as well as Vegas. Maybe something more, but I don't think so because Vegas, I think, has four, and then Phoenix has three, so we got seven. So usually the standard, I usually do six. I, we're, there's an extra one, so we gotta jump into it, and we gotta go fast, like if these race car drivers are. Before we jump into it, we gotta slow down. And also thank my two do Patreon people as well as my YouTube members to support our channel. Perks to get our early access videos where they call us a general public for videos like this and stuff. And it also just helps me and, and all that. And it's it's very appreciated. So thank you. Without further ado, we're going to Phoenix. We gotta read this caption here. Take to the track in the Subway Fresh Fit 500 and aid Montoya in claiming back his spot at the front of the pack. Fight off all the youngsters on fresh tires as... Mark Martin and snatch second place from the 48 as Denny Hamlin. When it's broken up like this, it gets really confusing. Second place from the 48 as Denny Hamlin. Okay. Okay, it all makes sense, but when you, when they break it up, it just it confuses my brain. Okay. Edwards leaves, leaving Keselowski and Johnson about for second. Sadly, Hamlin appears from nowhere and passes them both in the dog leg. But misses out on second by inches as Jimmy Johnson squeezes. Past on the outside. Can you rewrite history by inching past the 48 to take second place? I will try. It is a medium difficulty, so I'm hoping this won't be too hard. There's 1.5 laps left, and you're in fourth place. Okay. Pass a brat. Okay, I understand. Just like that. Even though his wheel was cocked to the right, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you know what he did, he did, he did, Denny Hamlet's smart, he knows how to run. Snatch second from Jimmy. This is such a metaphor for Denny Hamlet and his career, just always being second place. <laughs> oh god, alright, we're just gonna have to find a way past him. Dale Jr., okay, they're on their, uh, their telemetry thing. Really have to back up the corner. Might have messed this up already. Nope. Maybe. White flag. Might have. I don't know. I mean, they, they, they did say. Oh, yep. I don't even have to pass with a dog leg. Brad checked up. All right. <laughs> did it before the dog leg. Got, uh, got all that situated. Beautiful. And that'll be a one and done on the first attempt. Unless I mess up turn three and four terribly. And we won't. So. That's a very neat, clean, simple, straightforward challenge, and we did it in one take, so that was that was perfect. Next challenge, old tires, new tricks. Following a caution, Mark Martin stayed out to gain track position after an unscheduled pit stop. Take the restart and hold on to lead for five laps on worn tires. I remember this race. Mark Martin got pulled, and it was actually, I think, the last pull of his career. But Mark still had it. I remember watching that qualifying run and being... I. This might have been the race week of when Mark Martin changed. There was something with Twitter where Mark Martin got hacked, and then Mark used that hacked per person's username for his car on, on the name rail. There was some story about that. I don't know if it's this race, but there was something. I don't know. Mark Martin can be pretty vicious on Twitter. Like, he can, he can, ha <laughs> he can have an attitude. I kind of like that. Okay, I all right, let's just hang on for five laps. Game did say old tires, so uh, we'll just be careful. I don't know how worn. I didn't really feel that bad, but it's set for five laps. So right now we're just kind of managing. Let's get through three and four here and see what happens. Okay, we're just... All right, we're going to be fine. So, uh, all right, we'll just finish this up in one attempt. As I got to lose off turn four, but that's okay. Something I'm noticing, and this might be just the challenge it itself. The controller is vibrating a lot more than usual. I don't know if the game's trying to, like, signal me that, hey, you're burning up the tires. This is a tire challenge. You're burning them up. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it vi it's vibrating a lot more than it usually does. And it's just, it's just strange. I don't know how to really convince you of it. But it's just something I'm feeling in my hands. And there we go. Another one. It oh, that's Okay, <laughs> usually it ends right at the line. That kind of threw me off. Okay, well, another one and done. I I like this. I, I we're going at a brisk pace, not the iced tea, but just a brisk pace in general. 
Next up, JPM strikes back. After a restart, Juan Pablo Montoya lost the lead to Greg Biffle. Can you relive Montoya's fight back? But what <laughs> Montoya's fight back and retake the lead. You have four laps to do it. That threw me off again. <laughs> Montoya's fight back. I thought what I was really I was about to say comeback, but I don't know. Maybe because this game was made made by Britons, maybe they don't know the vernacular. But it just it threw off my dumb American brain. Paul Montoya take the lead in four laps. Okay, retake the lead in four laps. Okay. Well, I I hope I could do that. They're in their telemetry line and all that, so I'll have to pass them strategically. The tight the, the gate the freaking controller is vibrating like it did with the Mark Marn one. Why is this a Phoenix exclusive? I don't know, but it's, it's freaking me out. This is like NASCAR Heat Evolution where the engine sounds are different for one race in Texas. <laughs> Alright, that was just a glorious run off turn four. I don't think I'm no, I'm gonna probably get turned here. Probably gonna get turned here. Almost got turned. That was gonna be bad, but Clear. That was probably the unintended, unconventional way of making that pass. We made it work. And now I just don't gotta get hit. I can't get hit by people. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Off turn four. We win by a second. I looked back and the game did not have control. That was weird. What? This game is just doing very strange things today. I was looking back to see behind me with Biffle and it, it didn't even register my, my input. What is... Whatever, we complete the challenge. I'm just, I'm perplexed. That's the Phoenix challenges done in the books. Next up, we got the Cobalt Tools 400. Roll the dice in the Cobalt Tools 400. Las Vegas Mars Speedway. Go three wide as Kyle Busch. Get Keselowski into the top three and take part as both. Casey Kane and Matt Kenseth in the thrilling battle for the win. Okay, <laughs> I will do that. First up is Matt Kenseth, and that looks like his 2012 fire suit. Don't know why that bugs me so much, but it kind of does, because I don't think Best Buy carried over to Matt Kenseth in 2013. So uh, that triggers me in many fundamental ways. The Cobalt 2 is for was by Matt Kenseth after an epic 30 lap battle with Casey Kane. Can you keep your cool and relive the moment by beating Casey Kane to check the flag? I remember this race in real life. Um, one of many races, Casey Kane had a shot to win, but just couldn't do it for many ways. So, um, that was kind of funny, but, um, go Matt Kenseth. Woo. I, I didn't even have a chance to read it. Relive history and hold the lead at the goal. Okay. Okay. I don't think this will be too hard. I mean, I would be shocked if it is. We just have to maintain the lead. This should be pretty simple. Very straightforward. Be Casey Kane. Okay, so we got a lap and a half to go. Oh! Oh my god. See, if Casey Kane had that type of attitude, he probably would have won more races. Okay, well, finally, we have to redo it. I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared for that at all. I don't know if I break too early in the corner. I, I don't know. It just... That's, that's, that shook me. Now that we got all of our berries in the basket, I think, I think we'll be fine now. Casey Mears, for the love of God... Do not cost me this race. I'm just going to stay side by side with them. Because if I try to pass them, what? That's exactly how I recall the 2013 race Vegas race finished out. Casey Mears doored Matt Kenseth all the way off the track. That's exactly what happened. That was, that was perfect. Casey cares. <laughs> Casey Mears is just lucky that I didn't get the icing on the cake. I don't, I don't know what the, the, the title of that challenge means, but Mike Cake almost lost the icing because of Casey Mears. I don't know. Next. We got Wild Thing. On the restart lap 165, Kyle Busch went down low and three wide to steal the lead from off the 48. Can you relive Wild Thing's wild move? I will try. It does say hard, so I might have to redo this a couple of times. Go three wide and take the lead. Can you hold it? the line. I guess it's just for this one particular lap, so. Okay. Well, um, I guess we'll see. Damn, it just, it just yanked me to the left. That wasn't really... Oh my god. No. No, didn't work. No. 
Nah, it didn't work at all. I, again, I got shook. It just sent me to the left, like right away. I didn't even have it. I... Okay. Okay. Kane. This was a this was a very aggressive freaking restart. Kate, it just I don't even know what to say. Kyle, that was impressive. I'm, I'm, well, I'm assuming this is exactly what we did in real life, but it's just yeah, that that was cool. Well, we got the lead. I almost threw it away there in turn three, but we're maintaining it, and I guess we'll beat the challenge, right? Okay, good, perfect. The last challenge for Vegas. Well, actually, never mind. There's two more. Wait, hold on. Was there one, two, three, four? Okay, there's four. I don't, why was I think there was five? Jeez. Uh, pushing for points as the battle for first rages on. Bragazowski and Kyle Busch are fighting for third spot. Can you rewrite the finishing moments and take the 2012 champ across the line ahead of Bush? I will try. It does say very hard, so... We might be here for a while. I, I don't know. I don't remember this one. Can you pass the 18? Go for the lead. And go for the... Go, oh my god. I can't even talk. What is wrong with me? Go for the pass and hang on for five laps. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. Again, it just yanked me to the left. I don't like that. Alright. It did say very hard, so... We'll, uh, we'll see. But... Yeah, this was back in the time period where uh, Brad Kozlowski was running, well, in these video games. It was just before... Oh, wow, that was... Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought. I didn't even get to finish my Brad Kozlowski story. Alright, that was <laughs> like, really simple. Uh, let me finish my story. So, yeah, this was back when, in an Astro Games, they used to have people's names be on the car if it was a beer sponsor. So, like, you know, you remember Dale Jr., car, the Sterling Marlin car, and then obviously this one here is the Blue Deuce and all that. They changed that in NASCAR uh, 2015. That was my driver's name on the car because of beer sponsor story. That that was that was all I was trying to say. Never mind about beating Kyle Busch. It would have been really interesting to see if I could run down Casey Kane and Kenseth because it looked like we were able to. I guess we'll never know, but that would have been an interesting challenge, but I don't think I would want to sit here for 15 laps trying to complete it, so... I, I don't know. I, I would be interested if someone could actually, like, realistically do that with the allotted, the allotted time. I don't know. Just something to think about. But anyways, next. Okay, the actual last challenge at Vegas. Oh, is that why it's called Icy on the Cakes? It's his birthday? Beating the... Bur okay, I... Okay. Why didn't it... You know, okay, I'm being Mr. Nitpicky here, but you would think with the, with that caption icing on the cake, we it could have a caption be like, "Make Matt Kenseth's birthday amazing and win this race." I don't something. I mean, it's been ten years and I didn't remember it was Kenseth's birthday, but that that makes a lot of a lot of sense now, with that title. Okay, I I don't know. Uh, beating the birthday boy, racing as Casey Kane, can you rewrite the uh, intense final laps of the Cobalt 2 400 by beating Matt Kenseth to the line? I will try. I feel like I remember this one being hard, so we might have a challenge on our hands. I didn't even know what it said. I was looking at my TV, and then it just changed. Like, it's up for like half a second. I can't even, couldn't even process it. Okay, give me four laps. I guess we'll see what we can do. I guess with the uh, the last lap thing in the in Matt Kenseth one, I guess in real life Kenseth passed Mears up on the outside because I'm sure someone's going to be commenting. It's like, well, in real life, Casey Mears is on the bottom line in 3 4, and he was letting Matt Kenseth go in the freaking. That probably, that probably explains a lot because he was sparking and everything. And also, I just passed Matt Kenseth just. With this, this the easiest of this is bad. Okay, David Stremmy. David Stremmy. That was so close to being so easy, and it got ruined in an instant. Okay, this the, I guess this really won't be that tough after all because we just we copped to Kenta in like a lap. It wasn't even that hard. 
so um, maybe it's just the the plan is just getting like an amazing run through here and then maybe passing Shremi before we get into turn one. I guess that's the plan. I don't know, but we did it. <laughs> it that was passing Kenseth was not that hard. It was kind of embarrassing. Why did pass me think this was so hard? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna pass Casey Mears. We got some random lap cars. I'm I'm kind of terrified of what lane to go in. I, you know what? I'm just gonna stay behind whoever this is. David David Reagan. Okay, I was half right with the David name. And uh, just no, I'm, no, I'm gonna stay right behind him. Not even gonna take my chances. I mean, maybe I'll do it off turn three and four. Maybe maybe I'll be a little a little anxious and, and a little adventurous and. Nope, not even gonna. Oh, it was just a feeling. It was just a feeling. I thought maybe I could do something. Nope, I'm just gonna stay right behind him. And uh, we'll win this challenge pretty st straightforward. Again, it was like a minute of difficulty, but we got it. It was it was simple. Really, was just knowing when to pass a lap car. That was like my only little hiccup. But otherwise, I I don't know. It's it's nice to have these be so just straightforward and easy. I'm sure this will end at some point, but it's very strange. Auto Club 400. Oh, boy. I remember this race. Uh, kind of an iconic, legendary race. And we only get three challenges for it. You would think there would maybe be a fourth one magically. Because, you know, maybe one is Joey Logano. would be like, you know, race to Joey Logano to win or something. I almost punched myself in the nose doing that. But anyways, Kyle Busch. Relive Kyle Busch's victory by taking advantage of Hamlin Logano's battle for first. Okay. Uh, I mean, again... I, that should be doable. Face down the lead pair in the final five laps. Ugh. Ugh. Five laps? Pass Joey and Denny for the win. Alright. We'll do that. I'm hoping it's not five laps. Ugh. Keep it this race was just kind of infamous. I don't know. Such an iconic race, I think. Partially gets ruined because Lugano kind of just sent it in turn three and destroyed Hamlin instead of them just racing it out. Would have been nice to have that and not have Denny Hamlin be hurt for months. I remember that. Everything about that situation was gross. Hamlin basically had his entire 2013 season ruined because of it. Had to take ice baths because of his bitch ass. And Logano just never cared before or after or since about causing that. Because Joey Logano is kind of a psychopath. And I just gave him a bump. But yeah, now we just got the just bide our time here, try to find a pass. Also, we're very low on fuel apparently, but there's no laps indicating that, so that's interesting. Low handling for the push. I wish I could get that low, but I can't rotate the car good enough. Now I can. Okay. And just like that, into the lead. Now we just have to win. So that was, uh, I would say simple, but easy. I guess easy is another word for simple. I don't know, but. Well, it's not that big of a deal. And now I get to just log laps and watch these two dumbasses bow for second and basically have Hamlin destroy his back for second. Which is even, which actually makes it kind of funny. <laughs> well, I guess in this context, it's just funny because we're leading, but then those two are racing that hardcore for second. And then, I don't know. Well, so we only have four laps of fuel left. Oh, God, that's... We should be good on fuel, but that is kind of concerning. <laughs> And we'll win the challenge. And my, my, my right stick works. I can look back. That was convenient. Why did it not work that one race? That was just weird. I don't know. But hey, we did it in in one take. So uh, on to the next one. We got making moves after a slow stop under Yellow Dale Jr. restarted on lap 20, 122 and 18th place. Or at least 18th. Before he's storming his way up to 10th in three laps. Can you match the 88? Don't know why this is even a challenge. Why is this here? When we had such a really interesting fin like you, there's like at least two guaranteed there. Well, I guess there technically is two, but I don't know. We'll we'll do it. We'll we'll get the shooter 18th to 10th in a random specific certain laps. Certain of laps. I don't, that that's a, that's a sentence. That's a sentence I just said. Make up at least eight places in three laps. Like, what is this camera angle? Glad we got to see what those haulers looked like in 2013. Alrighty. Well, now we'll just... Did Jimmy Johnson. Why does that happen? What? <laughs> how does... How and why did that happen? 
I don't know. It's just... It's just weird. Maybe because I didn't shift immediately. I don't know. Jimmy gave me a bump, though, so that's good. Now, where does my AI ghost want me to run? Also, who is that car there that's green? I don't know. Someone push me. No one's gonna help. Alright, you know what? We'll just take the L and do it again. Alright, well, we gave Jimmy the bump. That that seems to be the signal. We're just gonna stay way up here. I would, sometimes they show the AI ghost of where Dale Jr. like ran. Or like wherever the AI driver ran. That would be very helpful. At a track like Auto Club, that was a freaking monstrous push. And it got me back into the game. It just got me back into this freaking mess. Because at a track like Auto Club, where the lane is like eight lanes wide, I like to know where and where not to go. That would be really nice. So we don't get instances like Jeff Byrne putting me into the wall. And now I got no draft help. I got draft help. Thank you, McMurray, for turning my bitch ass. I will not go to McDonald's for two days because of you. I guess the middle? I don't know. I don't know what this what like this magic lane that this game wants me to be in. Ooh, it got loose. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. Alright, that's this is just this is just I'm just a peak annoyed. Ambrose checking up. Burn slow. Alright. We're making some, you know, respectable passes. Casey Kane's not being respectable at all. And there goes any chance I Well, maybe not. Now we're back at nope, no, no, we're screwed again. That was annoying. Maybe we, we still got a shot at this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm amazed we even have a shot. Uh, no, no, we're just going to pull a Jeff Gordon at Las Vegas, but at freaking Auto Club. All right, how bad is it going to be? All right, well, that, that was just boring. All right, we didn't get the push from Jimmy this time, but we got a nice little arc here in one and two. It's kind of... Jesus Christ, I'm like under freaking Ambrose. What it was that? Okay, um, I probably was not supposed to be in that situation. We somehow survived? I don't know. I was, like, my car was, like, trying to dig under Ambrose. Like, I, Australia is not under there, Junior. I, I don't know. That's just... Phew. All right, we dodged the bullet with all of that. I could have been, we could have, like, flipped. I don't know. But I don't know where else to run now. Where am I going to be clean and safe from the AI drivers? Because Edward doesn't think I exist, but Biffle... Okay. Yeesh, okay. Stand out. Ah, God! I thought that bump was going to be okay, but no, my ass could not handle it. Try tries again. Just arc it in turn one. I think I had the pattern. Somewhat. Alright, just go duck down low. Just maybe we'll just try to be down low this time. I don't know. It would be so nice. Cause usually I mean sometimes they have the AI ghost of like where Dale Jr. made all these passes in real life. Do I do I just gotta go watch the real life race and, and look at it? Which I highly doubt there's gonna be a freaking replay. Well, maybe there is like an onboard shot of it. But it, is that what I gotta do? We gotta go to external sources? To, to know that was 208. I don't think my car was programmed to go that fast at Auto Club on default setup. That was terrifying. Uh, let me let me finish my rant. Let me finish my rant. Ooh, a little, little loose there. But do I gotta go on like Dale Jr.'s onboard on lap 122 specifically so I know how he made these passes and write it down in my Google Doc notebook or whatever? Why why would there be a Google Doc notebook? I don't know, but. Holy shit. This is annoying. We need to still pass three more cars, so we are still... We are, we are not safe. Okay, I gotta do this all in one lap. And Truex gave me a shot. 214. That's uh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, we're, we're just gonna go up high. Please let us have the run to pass Kane. Barely. Okay, one more car. We need to pass one more car. I probably made this challenge way harder than it needed to be, but my god, just it's impossible to find what lane to be in in the right space and not get run over. Okay, bottom lane, three and four. That worked out beautifully. 
we don't need to pass any more cars. I probably could have realistically gotten up to the front, and, and, and but I, I made it harder than it needed to be. Or the game did. I don't know, but... I'd like to see what kind of difficulty that challenge was. I, I'm curious. Oh, it's just hard. It's just hard. Okay. I thought that'd be very hard. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Auto Club Speedly uh, relive Hamlin's drive through the field after the final caution. Work your way up through to at least second position by the end of lap 195. All right. I mean, that can't possibly be harder than a Dale Jr. one. I'll be shocked if it is. Race hard for the lead. And move up to at least second place by the end of lap. Okay. Um, same stuff as before. Same. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, definitely not as much cards to pass. So that's at least a little bit relaxing. Or could be, why is it just shoot me to left? You can't. You can't do that. Alright. Just got to make these passes. It's just so nice to not have like five wide or just an absolute surmountable insane amount of cars to pass because look at i can just get an amazing round turn four or, or well, turn two and get up to second just like that <laughs> comically easy i don't know it was just i mean we might as well just pass cow bush while we're at it my car got really tight but well we did it we already completed the goal we're just now we just have to, we could just chill for a couple laps what is Dale Jr. doing back there? I guess that's the lane he did in real life, but that was shocking. <gasps> Joey Logano! God. I'm annoyed. I'm very annoyed. Was not expecting him to send it. Uh, what do you want me to say? I was not expecting that type of dive bomb, but it is Joey Logano, so I probably should have honestly expected it. But now we gotta do all this bunch of shit again. God damn, that, that should have been so easy. Okay, well... At least I, I know what to expect. Joe Legallon's always going to send it, so we just give him a stupendous amount of room. And we'll be fine. Just uh, slip down there. Beautiful. Use Jeff Gordon as a door. Earn harder selfs into the wall. Give Denny Hamlin a back, you know, real-life injury. Because we're just, I don't know. And now we're now, now this is the part where I'm just going to make it way harder on myself. Because I just, I, I don't know. None of that should happen. We split Harvick and Gordon, get an amazing runoff turn two, pass all three of them into second, boom, that's it. This should this this should end right now. There should be no more difficulties. That's my fault. I just I I don't know. I was trying to back off. I was trying to back off the of Cowboys because I know he's gonna put me in the wall, and it failed to work. But Joel is going to send it. He should have a good run up on the high side. Or not. I was... God! God damn it! Okay, split Gordon and Harvick. Go three wide. Make these passes. The last couple of times I've hit Kyle Busch. Because I don't know where he's going. Or I just have a run. And I have nowhere to... I don't know. I would like for that to stop happening. And, you know, just not worry about that. Why did my car get arrowed? I felt it. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know. But we're going to go for the lead. This may be a bad idea, but the ego in me just wants the lead. And we got it. So uh, maybe now we'll be good for the rest of this until this wraps up. Okay. We're good. That's all. We just need to clear everyone. Because clearly we were way faster than them all. So, all right. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Again, made that harder than it needed to be as we were trying to pass Dave Reagan, but I thought to myself, no, that's a bad idea, and we're just going to, you know, stay behind him. And it worked out, so beautiful. And that will do it finally for this episode. Good God almighty, I spent more time on those last two talent challenges than I did for, like, what felt like the entirety of this freaking video. <laughs> but that was 10 of them. That was 10 in, like, probably 30 minutes at this point. So, uh, I, you know what? I'm accomplished. We'll wrap things up. Big shout out my tier 3 Patreon supporters to Dave Chat 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Carrier, and Mexican Link 1986 for the support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel. Every single month does mean a lot. Always goes a long ways, and I appreciate just going that extra above and beyond. It's just, it's really cool, and really thankful and grateful for it, and all that. So, I, I just thank you. I will see you all next episode for... 
my goal is like at least get to two of these per episode or per part. So next up should be presumably Martinsville in Texas. Hopefully. I guess we'll see or find out. I don't know. But yeah, that'll do it for me. See you all next episode in the Highlight Challenge Saga and all that. So yeah, see you all later and as always, have a good day everyone.